Well, if you've ever thought about growing your own peanuts in your backyard vegetable garden, well, that's exactly what we did this year. Well, it's time to dig our wind peanuts. We grew these in the raised bed this year and it's 140 days to maturity. And the leaves are starting to look a little rough, but we're out of time, it's time to dig them up. And when your peanuts get mature, it's okay if your leaves start looking a little bad, that's just normal. 140 days, now this is wind. It's probably our preferred variety. It's an improved Virginia type. It's a large peanut. It has, a, when it dries out, it has kind of a pinkish coat on the outside of it. If you go to the ball game and eat those big roasted peanuts, well, more than likely this is the variety you're eating. It is an improved variety. It has a lot of disease resistant to it. Now, peanuts is one of those things you can only grow one crop a year because it's 140 days of maturity and it lends itself best to here in the south, we have a long growing season. We only carry peanut seed in the uh, springtime because peanut seed are high in oil content. And any seed that is high in oil content does not store. So peanut seed is not one of those seeds you want to buy and keep from year to year. You want to buy fresh seeds every year and plant them, otherwise they'll go bad. And that's the reason we only have peanut seed available for a short time in the springtime. Come summertime, we discard whatever we don't sell for the spring and we wait till we get fresh seeds the next early spring. Now we transplanted these out of the greenhouse, but normally speaking, I'd recommend direct seeding. We did that because we was just working, trying to figure out a couple of new things and we was doing some testing. But peanut seeds are big, they come up quick, so direct seeding them is the way to go. I think growing them in a raised bed is a decent way of doing it. If you want to grow a larger plot, of course, grow it in ground. We've got drip irrigation on these, and I definitely recommend that. Well, here we are digging them with our digging fork here. Now, the commercial farmers have these specialized equipment. They go in there and dig them, call them inverters. They turn the peanuts upside down, and they let them dry for a day or two. They always want to dig their peanuts when it's nice weather because they don't want to get rained on. But you know, in a garden situation like this right here, any kind of good dig a fork work fine. Just get underneath there so that you don't damage the peanuts. Most of these peanuts are shallow rooting, so they're not real deep, kind of loosen it up. Today I'm dealing with some good soil, so it's real easy digging. Get in there, loosen them up, just pull them up so that you can save all these peanuts. And I'm gonna throw them out here to the side. There'll be a few left in there. I have to kind of go in there and pick around, but for the most part, we're getting dug up. When you dig these peanuts, they consider green. They still got a lot of moisture in them. You want to dig them definitely before they start sprouting in the, uh, the ground there. Now, the commercial farmers, when they dig them, they're green, of course, and they take them and carry them to a dryer. And that dryer is hot air that pushes through the peanut wagons and it dries these peanuts down. We need to do that also. We're probably going to have to do it in a different way. But we want to dry these peanuts down, get some of the moisture out of them so they'll store better. Now, what I'm doing right here is called picking off peanuts. After you pull these vines up, you got to pick them off. Got me a bucket right there. This is normally best underneath the shade tree, but it's kind of cool today, so it ain't bad outside. So I'm just going to go through here and pick off all the good ones and put them in there. Now, it's, it's the ordinary to have a few what we call pops in there. And that's a bad peanut. That one there's actually pretty good. But a pop is a small, immature, or one that didn't fill out, and that's just normal. Either don't pick them or we can grade them out later. So we got most of them picked off there. <clears throat> you look here, that one there's starting to sprout. That's what you don't want, and you want to get them before they do that. So we was right there on the verge of waiting too late. And there's a good one right there. See how big that one is? That's what we was after. Now, peanuts are a legume, and that means they don't need much nitrogen and much fertilizer at all. We fertilize these when we planted them and that's pretty much it. However, they do like gypsum on them, they like calcium. So I came back after they got up good and put me a good dose of, uh, of gypsum on them and that calcium helps these peanuts fill out and make you know really nice peanuts like what we want. But just don't take much fertilizer. These vines here be perfect to go in the compost bin. Okay, so when you dig your peanuts, like I said, they're green. You can do this thing a couple different ways. You can lay them out, put you a fan on them in the sunlight and let them dry for a few days. Or probably what I'm going to do is go ahead and wash them. 
put them in the oven like at 170 degrees and start drying them out some. But you don't want them let them sit green and you don't want to wash them unless you're fixing to dry them. So you don't want them to sit wet either. So you got a couple different options you want to do. A lot of people will actually dig the peanut vine, turn it upside down and let the sun hit it for a couple of days before they pick them off. If you got rain coming in, you don't want to do that. You want nice sunny weather when you do that process. Peanuts don't like to be planted in cold weather. So we normally don't plant till about April, May. May probably be an optimal time to plant. So sign up for our Hoss email newsletter and we'll send out a notification when we get those peanut seeds in. Normally it's sometime around the 1st of March we get them in. We sell out quick and uh, we move on. So if you want these winged peanut seeds, sign up for that newsletter. Make sure you get that notification when we get them in. And if you're just going to boil them, you won't go through this. The dry thing, you just boil them green. Well, I roasted mine, put them in a convection oven, so I had some air circulation going on in there. I did it a couple of times there, trying to get that moisture down in the peanut. And there again, we want to roast them just a little bit, stick them in the oven. Uh, I really didn't keep up with the time. I just kind of played it by, played it by feel a little bit and got them nice and roasted. Now these also could be boiled. If you're going to boil the peanuts, then you wouldn't want to go through this process of drying them out. You'd want to boil them green. So regardless whether you want dry roasted peanuts or boiling peanuts, this William peanut is a great variety for both.